what we're gonna do is grab what we want, put it on there, and half a second it rings, and then you're done. So how does it train the database to know all this? Like what if I just threw in something new like yes, a so bag you of can, can you, if you can find I already added one of these earlier, but if you can find me a new object, Francis, could you grab me a Hagendas bar? Yeah. So one of the big advantages for businesses with us uh, is that we, can, we come out of the cafeteria space originally. So we had to be able to deal with the day where you might have different ingredients than you thought and you had to make a new meal really fast and add an item. So if you wanted to add a new item, right, if it's a CPG good, we've probably seen a lot of it before because we're in almost 500 convenience stores already. Uh, if it's a plate, the process is still roughly the same except you have to tell the system, you have to name it first. Whereas we can easily uh, do a barcode here for this guy. Now we've seen this before, and so like in a regular C store perspective, we would be downloading all these poses. But if I didn't have those, all I would do to add this item is drop it into a couple of positions on the tray in different orientations. So you want to think about how is my user going to put this down and, and mess it up. So like I, I actually do like dice rolls and things. To see. So how many do you do to train it? Like five, six, ten? So you'll see this has 84, probably because a lot of different people have trained at different locations and they're synced together. We typically recommend 20 to 50 poses for a production environment so that you have enough of it to distinguish between maybe a couple of flavors of this, for example. It takes about one minute per item. Once that item is done, every store and every place on the network can now benefit.